it's Christmas time. And we can tell you what our plan is. Well, it's Christmas Eve. Pouring down rain on us today. You know what? We got a. It's a good day. My uh, helper is actually out of town, and so they're gonna give me a new helper. And they hooked me up, and they gave me my brother-in-law. So we are going to just have a good old Christmas Eve together. And even though know, it's raining, we're gonna have some fun. So, all right. Merry Christmas. It's a mint. Yeah. It is a Christmas jammy kind of day. Is it that. a jammy day? Christmas that. Christmas that. <laughs> there you go. Happy Christmas Eve. Jared had to work today. And hopefully he won't have to work any longer past five, but they're hoping even less than that. Um, and then we'll just have a cozy night together and wake up and have our family Christmas tomorrow. But it's a cozy rainy day out right now and so we're just inside all day doing a couple different things. I actually got dressed and put real clothes on today if you consider a hoodie real clothes. But So it's not a jammy day for me because I don't feel motivated when I'm in pajamas. And I gotta be motivated because the thing we're working on that we told you about last week, that's what we're doing today. I'll fill you in later when Jared gets home from work and we'll uh, let you guys know what our plan is. I think I might try to take my lamps apart today and see how I want to go about cleaning them. It kind of almost looks like it was in a concrete shop or something and like this is what it looks like. There was dry concrete all over and someone went over with a wet cloth trying to wipe it off. That's kind of what it feels like because it's supposed to be shiny enamel and it is not so i'm really hoping a pumice stone might take care of it but i gotta figure out first how to change the hardware to not this massive bulb and so hopefully there's just an adapter if not i might just have to rewire this whole thing which i don't mind but so we'll figure that one out and then i brought this in just to see if it's too big for any of the rooms and then i'll sell it if it is but I don't know, I might just keep it because I really love it and I think I would regret it. Especially since I got it on Craigslist for like $20 or something and it's a, I don't think, I can't remember if this one's Pottery Barn or if the other one I got is Pottery Barn. But when I get scores like that, I don't like to just sell them. Sometimes it's just worth just keeping them and saving them for when I want to interchange later. Because I'm sure I will. But I'll give you a sneak peek on what we're working on. I'm not going to say anything, but I'll just show you. probably already guessed what's going on but I'm gonna wait till Jared gets home and we'll tell you guys our plan and then we'll go from there but we are really really excited we're really pushing for a super productive new year really because <laughs> basically after Christmas and New Year Jared's schedule is gonna change a little bit and he won't have to be out as late and then once spring hits and we get some more sunshine we're gonna be able to kick it in high gear and get a ton of stuff done I'm hoping so I'm excited we've made lots of progress with decisions and with kind of game game plans like knowing what we're gonna do next so we're super excited now it's time to put all those clothes that are on the futon away and find a place for all of them it's what try one more time I have no, no idea what you're saying. Oh, are you saying painting with it? I got nothing. Wait, say it again. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Are you a ninja? 
Are you a Christmas ninja? Show me your ninja move. <laughs> oh, and to answer my question about earlier about the lip piercing, it's possible. I googled it and it kind of kind of gave me an uneasy feeling in my stomach seeing them squirt water through their lip piercing, but it is possible. Well, Merry Christmas Eve. It's, uh, it's been pouring down rain today. Hey, you know what? Rain or shine, I'll deliver your Christmas packages. It don't matter. I am pretty cold and wet though, but all that matters is you guys get your Christmas presents. And you know what? Made it a day. We got coffees. Got my brother-in-law helping me today. So, we got cold ones. You're welcome. Merry Christmas. And I'm off by four o'clock on Christmas Eve. <laughs> Coming home for Christmas. Anyway, hustled today. Delivered lots of packages. I'm soaking wet, so I'm ready to go home, change, make a nice, warm, cozy fire, and spend some time with my family. So, then we get tomorrow off together. Merry oh, and it's Christmas time. And we can tell you what our plan is. Alright, here's that little awkward breezeway area. We have lots of just tools and stuff. We're gonna utilize it. How? This is gonna be our kitchen. It's true. It is. We're gonna bring in that hutch from out there and put it right here. I mean, we'll do a little more cleaning up and stuff, but we're not gonna worry about it too much. Barbie's dream kitchen. Not quite, no. And then we're going to buy like a little utility sink and I think it's called a hot plate. Maybe one of those little, uh, toaster oven, toaster oven, toaster oven, toaster strudel. <laughs> anyway, and we're going to hook up some water up here for doing dishes. And then after we get the kitchen ready, we can just put it in the kitchen. Though. So we kind of talked about how we were going to just kind of migrate. Is that the right word to the kitchen or yeah. to the house? Yeah. And so we've been sleeping here in the house for a couple, probably a couple weeks now. No, well, no? Like a week. Oh, for a week now. And then I was like, man, it's really you hard. Got <laughs> you got your cocoa. You got your cocoa, you sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> and so it'll all just be centralized right here. And then we'll have a microwave, toaster oven, a little hot plate, a utility sink. And then that hutch that was in the kitchen will go on this wall for all of our food storage. And so it's not like, the cleanest kitchen you've ever seen, but I think it's gonna be ideal either. It's right, but it's gonna be like camping. Super upgraded camping. Oh yeah. But I think it'll be easier than living in a camp trailer and a shop and a house, like with things spread all over. Shout out to Badlands for all you hunters. Tell you what, Badlands is the way to go. <laughs> but anyway, let's move this hutch in here and yep. then I'll show you my new kitchen. You look like a bundle of festivities. <laughs> <laughs> Almost going like this. Well, not quite. Anyway, so it kind I'm of the top. best film filmographer ever. <laughs> Jared asked me. He says, "If I can go up to the shop and find the griddle and the microwave, would that make your life easier? Especially tomorrow when I'm like making breakfast and stuff." And I tried to decline, but he insisted. And he found my microwave, and he is. <laughs> looking for the griddle from a bird's eye view. <laughs> bird's eye view, it's the way to go. I just wanted to show you that I have a husband who will do anything to make my life easier. What do you mean? Because now I'm not gonna be able to get down. Sure you are. Good thanks. She can do this. She can do this. Toby got to open a present on Christmas Eve, and this is what he got. Wooden blocks on strings. <sighs> what a Christmas Eve. <laughs> I feel the side of my face just burning, but it feels so good <laughs> to be sitting this close to the fire, drinking. I need your book. I need your book. This was my early Christmas present from Jared. That he got me, and I love it so much. It has a hole for a spoon. Thank you. Just wanted to tell you 
that the geese and I wish you a Merry Christmas. Who knew? There were a ton of ducks in there too. Christmas story? Can I see it? Yeah, yeah. Can I see? Let me see. Are you reading a Christmas story? Can you tell me this story? Big. Big. Dolphin. Reindeer. Someone. Get in the drill. You, you missed this one. What's this one? Different tree. Do you know who drew that? Mm -hmm. Who drew it? Gabe. You Gabe. say Gabe? Gabe. Gabe is an artist. I'm going to read out of the Bible. Because Christmas is about Jesus. And we need to make sure that he comes first on his birthday, huh? Can you say Jesus? Jesus. Can you say I love you? Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, we're going to read. You need to listen, okay? Okay. Daddy's going to read. I'm going to tell you a story, Ray. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrus. Hey, look at Jared and his Christmas presents. Carhartt beanie, Carhartt uh, goggles. And the seal is really good on this? Yep. What is that? Corn. A barn? Set it down. What else is in here? What else? Can I take this one out for you? Is this ready? <gasps> what but is look, that? Can you open it? Open the house. It's a farm in a box. show you what I got for Christmas from my sweet thoughtful husband first my follow la la latte cup and then this one Jesus loves you a latte because he does and then this look how sweet and thoughtful I turn right to like prayer changes things isn't that so sweet and he got me a pack of little note cards so we can hang this up and put prayer requests on it and not forget to pray Love it. Just sitting in the house drinking my coffee, enjoying Christmas morning, and then I look out the window and I spy this charming woodsman of a man cutting wood in his Christmas jammies. My stars. I seriously do have quite the catch of a husband. <laughs> He's wonderful. The key, when you swing the axe, you don't just want to aim to hit here, you want to aim to cut through that bottom one, like so. Four deer, middle of town, St. Mary's property. One of them is a nice buck. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Meh, 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 meh. Hey guys, 
sorry I haven't keep in, keep in, keep kept. Sorry I haven't kept you posted today. Um, we had the cabinet guy come out and give the us. Cabinet guy has a name, okay? He has a Carl. name. Carl. Carl. Carl the cabinet guy. Carl came over today and gave us some measurements and told us kind of where things he would put things. And I really, really like him over there at Brothers. They are very professional and. I, would, I like how he gives you his opinion and tells you kind of what he thinks. He's not overpowering, like, this is what you need to do. But he knows what he's doing, and I completely trust him. And so he gave us measurements of where he would put things himself, and then he told us to keep furniture out for the next couple of weeks where the cabinets will go. And he said, make sure you keep these here, and if they get annoying, or if you feel like they're in your way, these items are in your way, then he's like, then you'll know your cabinets need to be either shorter or whatever you can decide from there. But um, we're trying to decide if we have enough counter space or if we should make this counter stick out further. So, honey, tell us what everything represents. This is the one side of the counter. We're gonna have a little bar kids to sit but the stove is going to be somewhere around here so it'll be a super narrow cabinet for like uh cookie pans and stuff or whatever say that it goes to here the only countertop you're going to have is like this section because practically her sink <laughs> is like the whole sink comes all the way over like here so she'll have this little corner section of counter and then she'll have this little corner section and then this so the cabinet obviously won't be that skinny. It'll kind of, it'll go flush with Yeah, it'll this go flush wall. with the wall. It's just yeah. sticking out how wide he said it would be. And so, so, I mean, it's a decent. But then tell us over here, the Lightning McQueen table. Lightning McQueen table's throw me off because this is that hutch that she wants to keep right here. If it's Super not a tall, hutch, nice. I want at least a buffet table or something here. So regardless. Then what I think we need to pull this out so it's almost like a built-in. I think it would look stupid. I but would that look not stupid throw seeing a big old piece of furniture sticking out past the wall, and it's super like choppy. And would that not completely throw off that built-in and make you feel like it's super closed in right here? Maybe. But yeah, so this Lightning McQueen table represents the depth of the hutch that is out here in our little kitchenette that guy it just did it did fit perfectly on this wall which is super cool but okay so that represents that so then this would be the walkway but carl recommended that this cabinet come out to here. to here so now and i think that's way too small especially especially because it's not too small without white and mcqueen though this will be, so that's the actual wall too. Right. And so you would have, literally. It'd be super cool if we could build the hutch into the wall, but that's a whole nother project. But I'd be really cool. Whole nother ball game. Cause you know how cool it would be to build that hutch in and kind of frame it out. But anyway, so there's our decisions we gotta make. And then I found some super cool like Moroccan type pattern tile for a backsplash. And if you guys know me, I love pattern and I love color. And in this house so far, we're, sti we're sticking with white and wood, Sweet. which is yeah. crazy for me. And so I found some of this cool like Moroccan type tile and that I love for like just a sliver of a ba black backsplash. And I don't know if he's a fan, but I'll see what I can do. And then we gotta decide on colors. Do we want white cabinets and like a tan gray, brown gray, this? Or do we want it all white or, I don't know. We're gonna even see if we can afford them professionally painting them for us. But yeah, we'll see. But oh, I did want to tell you, on this guy, I think I'm gonna go to an antique store and get some old latches and kind of just make this like a big built-in hutch kind of thing. So rather than trying to make those cabinets match these perfectly and it being an obvious difference just because they're not the same and it's my paint job will be different than theirs, I might try to paint that a different color or something. I'm not sure. Progress is fixing to start happening and we got our game plan for what needs to happen for that wall and then we'll have eight weeks 
basically 10 weeks, I think. No. Super exciting. Aren't you I'm, super excited? Yes, but I'm in deep thought. Ooh. And the world knows. Okay. My wife knows. When I'm in deep thought, I don't talk. I think. It's true, but sometimes I think on I camera. I need to go sit in my lazy boy know, and sometimes think I'm, about it. Camera, though, sometimes you look like you're grumpy. Or, or you got like better things to do and you just don't care or something. Oh. So you have to express your feelings. Okay, express these are feelings. my feelers. Hmm. You're right here, you're dead. You have to sit down and think, which involves yeah. not talking at all. Okay, hey, there's our fridge and our stove. We got two Whirlpool appliances. Fancy, fancy. Bye. Say so thanks so much. Thanks so much. Have a lovely day. Thanks. Yay. <laughs> Look how pretty. We've never had new appliances ever, so this is kind of crazy. But yeah, it's got, I love how it's got just like the smooth finish. It's not all textured or anything, it's just smooth. And look at there. I wish you guys could smell it. Like it doesn't smell like old green beans or meat. Look at that. Oh, what's this? Flexi slide bin. Ooh. Check me out. Check me out. Sweet. And then here's our stove. We didn't open it, but I asked. So I was like, do I need to open it and make sure it's the right one? So they don't think we're just claiming that it's the wrong one. Here's my receipt. It's important. So far, so good. Five burners. Looks good to me. Got the little fancy touch top. Wow, look at that. So exciting. Now it's just gonna be sitting out here until we're ready for it in the kitchen. And even after the cabinets, um, we don't necessarily want to use the appliances right away because it'd be kind of fun to just have them to be new and not use them. And then it, this is old news and, and then, you know, we move into a new house. So I'm so excited, love them. Something I also forgot to tell you was last week we got my truck back. Ready? Ready? My truck! She's been at a friend's house being stored at their house while we were living in the camp trailer at our other friend's house. Um, and he said it just could stay there. He's really big into trucks too and he's got one actually just like mine. And so he said it could just hang out with him there and then he brought it the other day and she's home. I've always wanted an old truck of some sort to fix up with my dad back in high school and it just never happened at the time. But then we got married and I moved here and then just a few years ago we saw this one for sale. Somebody that daddy has knew, I don't remember, was selling one. He's like, just come out and look at it. I don't know what I want for it yet. And so we went out there and I bought it for $200. This most beautiful truck and I love it. We've done a lot of work on it already to get it started and to get it running and stuff. And it still needs a new clutch and a wiring harness for the lights because the lights don't work. And then new tires, um, which is probably going to be kind of expensive for that. And then it will be drivable, but I am so, so excited. I did a custom little reupholster job just because I couldn't handle myself. Mommy, but look at here, you want to ride Mama's truck? Are you gonna learn how to drive someday in this truck? That is my dream to have Toby learn how to drive in this truck. I love that. It's so fun. But first, I gotta learn how to drive it. Do you love Mama's truck? Me too. Me too.
Isn't she beautiful? I cannot wait to drive her. Can't not wait for that day when I can finally get in and just drive her. It's gonna be so fun. Clearly, she's not a huge priority right now because I'd rather have a house to live in than a really cool truck to drive. But in time, in time, she'll be done. I keep hoping that Chip Foose will take her and fix her up and I'll be bawling my eyes out because I'll think someone stole my truck and no one really stole it because Chip has it and he's fixing it. So Chip, if you're out there and, and you need another project because you just got nothing to do, you can come here and get my truck and fix it so we can enjoy it for years to come. But special request, I don't really want it painted. I, maybe a matte clear coat would be really cool. Hey out there. I'm at Walmart getting some stuff for Jared's parents' house this weekend and thought I would do some appliance shopping. They've got quite the selection now. Like they've got super simple ones and super super fancy ones. Kind of crazy. Like look, I'm not even kidding. This looks like a gourmet toaster oven. That is so cool. And you pay for it. It's so cool. I found an oven. Now it's time to find a stove and there are couple options. Uh, I think we'll go for this one. Who am I kidding? Let's get the double. We're extending our Christmas festivities to New Year's. Woo! 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 <laughs> Party on! So grandma Woo! and Grandpa, Grammy Woo! and Papa, Jess and Christian. Toby's Jared. Toby and Jared. When they first got here, Toby was not feeling good at all, and he had a fever, and I guess wasn't feeling good at all. And then um, shortly after we got here, his energy started picking up. So I know he's crazy. Wheels. Toby got a tractor for Christmas. Yeah. Grab it for the farm. Grab it. Grab it here. Grab the farm. Those stinkers. Yeah. 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 Riding his bike outside. It's from Granny and Papa. It's still too short, so we gotta put some blocks by the feet or something. Oh boy. Look this one. You're booking it. You're booking it. Woo! Get the eggs. In there. Get the eggs. Be very gentle and put them in the basket. Here, look. Granny help you right here. Look it. Let's count them. Ready? Here. How many is this? One. Put it in here. Put it. Are you playing with the kitty? Took off outside. Where's the kitty? Kitty. Right here. I'll go call him. Are you playing with that sweet little Jerry. kitty? Charlie! What do you need this? Okay, wait, do it again. Toby, give me a normal kiss. Give me a Toby kiss. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. But I wanted to show you guys the moment that I went. <laughs> Watch oh, not wow. Here we go. go. Watch not getting anything. Here we go. I got it. Change. 250. All right. Here we Don't go. Don't count it for her. Okay, uh, <laughs> one. Oh, my word. I see. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, three. Three. Woo! Put it in the bag! Oh, everybody has a chance to be. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> our, last, our last round now. <laughs> I gave up. 